Adventure Explorers! Welcome to Compassion Camp. It is week five. Can you believe it? We've had so much fun together over all these works, weeks uh, learning about compassion and doing our activities and our songs and prayers and all the things together. We have loved getting to lead you, so we are really glad that you are here for our final week of Compassion Camp. I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and of course we have our fabulous Compassion Camp staff right here. We have Laud the Lamb and Laud's assistant, Cohen. We have Miss Laurie, who's our fabulous camp activities director. We have Miss Joy, who is our camp counselor. We have Miss Becca, who is our wonderful camp music director. And we have all of you, our Adventure Explorer campers. It's just been so good to be together. So today our theme is compassion with the world. And that compassion gives us a fresh start in so many different ways. So get ready, Adventure Explorers. We're going to learn all about that here together. Adventure Explorers, I am just overwhelmed with joy to see you today. Overwhelmed with joy. Sometimes we get overwhelmed with really good feelings, right? Sometimes we get overwhelmed with just too much that's going on. Maybe with sadness or if we're having trouble doing something and we can't figure it out and we just get overwhelmed. And one of the most favorite things about that is getting to have a fresh start. When we can take a rest and we can just start over in a new way when we're feeling that kind of being overwhelmed. Today, Adventure Explorers, we're learning all about those kinds of fresh starts and how God loves to give us fresh starts over and over and over. You know, it's a really hot day today and I was thinking about how wonderful fresh starts are. I think a fresh start feels as good on a hot day as jumping into a cold pool of water. So Adventure Explorers, gets, let's get ready to explore fresh starts. All right, Adventure Explorers, it's time for our theme song of the week. And oh my goodness, this may be our very favorite. We're going to sing the hippo song. So we're going to sing it to learn it again one more time. Repeat after me style. Repeat after me style. And do as I do style. And do as I do style. Okay, here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas. In the beginning, God made the seas. And the forest filled with trees. And the forest filled with trees. He placed the mountains up so high. He placed the mountains up so high. And above it all, he placed the sky. And above it all, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. Just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had some fun. And in the middle he had some fun. Made a hippo that weighs a ton. Made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip hip hippopotamus. Hip hip hippopotamus. Hip hip hooray God made all of us. Hip hip hooray God made all of us. Hip hip hippopotamus. Hip hip hippopotamus. Hip hip hooray God made all of us. Hip hip hooray God made all of us. Awesome job, Adventure Explorers. Let's put it all together and sing the hippo song. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. ready. All right, here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas, and the forest filled with trees. He raised the mountains up so high, and above it all, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had some fun, made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Great job, Adventure Explorers. Adventure Explorers, it's about time for our Bible story. And today, this is we're going to learn about how God loves to give us fresh starts. God loves giving people new chances to try again and begin again over and over and over. So as we get ready to hear that story and experience that together, please uh, join me in, with me in our compassion prayer. And again, I want to remind you that the compassion prayer is uh, available to you in your activity kit to color and have that as a wonderful time to reflect and color and enjoy that art and pray the prayer uh, all throughout the week using your coloring sheet. And then as we're getting ready for our Bible story, we're going to pray it together. Again, using our whole bodies, we pray with all that we are. So I invite you to put a hand over your heart and a hand on your head. 
and then repeat after me our prayer. Joyful God, your loving hands are always creating. Freedom, release, and fresh starts. Help us do the same today by caring for all living things with gentleness and care. Open us to humbly receive and that same care ourselves. Make our hearts smile and our actions sing with your promise of abundance toward the whole world. Amen. The backdrop for our story today, Adventure Explorers, is a big journey that God's people took through the wilderness. They had been slaves in Egypt and God freed them and then they traveled for a long time to go where God was telling them to go. We're going to learn about some important and wonderful traditions for God's people called Jubilee and Sabbath. And it's a way of starting over. So let's hear and experience this story. The people of Israel journeyed through the vast wilderness for many years. Finally, they arrived at Mount Sinai, where they rested. God gave instructions to their leader, Moses, for their life together in this new land. These were the things God said. In this land, we will practice Sabbath together. This will happen not only on the seventh day, but on the seventh year. For six years, we will do our regular work and plant seeds. We'll grow, prune, and harvest fruits. But in the seventh year, we'll let the land rest. Even the land needs peace and quiet. Everyone will be able to harvest and eat whatever the land gives us in that seventh year. In the 50th year, we will celebrate Jubilee together. This will be like the Sabbath every seven years where we'll let the land rest. It will be a fresh start for the whole community, the land and the people, and everyone will go to their own homes and be together in joy. It is a holy time, and we will be fed and nourished by whatever the land gives us. In this time, we will respond with justice by giving fresh starts. This means that we will be fair and honest to one another. We will work for people's freedom. We will all work together to help everyone rest and rejoice in God's abundance. God says, I will bless the land during this year. So you do not have to work the land. I promise we will all be fed and nourished by the land's gift. What a wonderful story that we've received. You know, God's idea of justice, it looks a lot like all the ways we've talked about being compassionate with one another and with ourselves. And what does abundance mean? Well, it means there's enough for everyone. And we can welcome everyone to the table. And we can be brave and we can trust each other. We can be honest with our hearts. We can give and receive care and we can do the work with God to care for all of God's creation. Thanks, Adventure Explorers, for joining us for our Bible story. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It is our fifth and final week of Compassion Camp this week. I know we can't believe it. No, but it's been five great weeks. You still have your poster that should be getting pretty much done by now. This week, you are going to be looking for, I have to find my paper here, but I keep losing. People doing fresh starts, caring for each other. There's a lot of places on here for caring for one another and where you could maybe have a fresh start. So think about that a little bit. Once you have this colored, send us a picture. We'd love to see it. 
Okay, and in your box, we have your week five folder with all of your info right here. And your activity this week is a fresh start bird feeder kit. Yay! Laud's been trying to eat the bird seed. It's been a problem. So in your bird feeder kit, you have you have some tubes and you have you might be coming to this and thinking oh what is this this is something that you are going to use to put on the tube you can use your finger a knife whatever a little goes a long way so then you're going to have kind of this sticky tube that you're going to roll in the bird seed String your string through your tube. Come on, Lod. And hang this somewhere that birds might enjoy. Okay? Anywhere outside. So, have a great week. It's been awesome doing this with you. We would love to see where you have hung your bird feeders. Bye. Hi, everybody. It is week five here at Compassion Camp, and it is time for yoga. So come on up and get comfortable. However you are, you don't need mats, you don't need any of those things. We're just trying to look official. But do remember, we are not professional yoga people. No, but we do the best we can. I am Missouri, this is Laud, and my helper, Co Laud's helper, Cohen, and at some point, you might see a dog cross through. That's Luna, and the one behind us is Oreo. So she's already doing downward dog, which we can hope for the other one. All right, so we're ready to go. All right, invite everyone to sit on the floor with their legs crossed. And we'll take some nice deep breaths in. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Slow exhale. Keep breathing in deeply, and a nice exhale. I am a part of God's balance and fresh starts. Breathe in, I am a part and out of God's balance and fresh starts. And in, I am a part and out of God's balance and fresh starts. Now slowly rise to stand in mountain pose with your arms straight and strong by your side and feet firmly planted on the ground. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. And do that again. In mountain pose, we feel our strength. We are unshakable. Now reach your arms up to the sky and then back down as you bend into forward fold. Hands on the ground or resting on your shins, whatever's comfortable. Take a breath in and raise your hands to your knees with your head looking forward. We prepare and focus our eyes forward. And take a breath and put your hands back to the ground and forward fold. And now from here, take both legs back, jumping them back, or step one leg and then the other into plank pose. Hold that for just a moment. And now lower your body further to the ground and straighten your arms and stretch your upper body. Head toward the sky into upward facing dog. And hold this pose, breathing in and out a few times. We face the sun and welcome with courage what this day holds for us. One breath in and breath out. And now lower your upper body back to the ground and push your hips and legs up into downward facing dog. Stretch there. Now raise your right leg and step it forward into a lunge with your foot between your hands. And raise your upper body arms up to the sky, chest and face forward into warrior one pose. 
Now square your shoulders to the left and extend your arms wide, parallel to the ground with your palms facing down. And take a few breaths with your eyes looking over your right hand. Breathe in and breathe out. In warrior two, we open our arms to make room for everyone and everything. We stretch to see what's beyond us. And take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, circle your arms down to the floor on either side of your right foot, and step your right foot back to meet your left foot, and move into downward facing dog, and take a stretch there, and a breath. Now raise your left leg up and step it forward into a lunge with feet between your hands, your left, your left leg. Yeah. Raise your upper body, arms up to the sky, chest and face forward into warrior one. Now square your shoulders to the right and extend your arms out wide, parallel to the ground, palms facing down. Take a few breaths with your eyes looking over your left hand. Take some deep breaths right here. In warrior two, we open our arms to make room for everyone and everything. We stretch to see what's beyond us. Now take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, circle your arms down to the floor, one on either side of your left foot, and step your left foot back to meet the right, and move into downward facing dog. Speaking of dog. Mm-hmm. Barking dog. Now from downward facing dog, jump, jump, or step your feet forward, one to the other. Roll your back up until you're standing tall in mountain pose. Now if you'd like, as you're standing in mountain pose, shift your weight to your left foot and bring your right foot to the inner side of your left leg, your, at your ankle, your calf, your inner thigh, whatever feels comfortable, and just take a deep breath here. Let yourself lengthen, feel your spine stretch upward, press your right foot into your left leg and your hands into prayer form, right by your heart. Let's try to hold this for a couple of breaths foot anchored into the ground. This is tree pose. Tree pose teaches us to be patient, steady, and balanced. A tree lives in rhythm with the world and its cycles and all the animals around it. You can put your foot also down. There you go. And you can try the other side. You can put that foot at your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh, whatever feels comfortable with your toes pointing to the ground. And just try to balance right there. And then lower your feet to the ground and stand in mountain pose. Go ahead and reach your arms up to the sky. Take a nice, big, stretchy breath. And then bring your hands down into prayer form right by your heart. And we'll end with a bow of your head as you share the Traditional yoga greeting, namaste. 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 And you can also say, the light in me sees the light in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Thanks, guys. Remember, practice your stretches. Have a lot of compassion for yourself and for others and the world around you. Bye, guys. Okay, Adventure Explorers, it's time to think, yeah, sing our theme song one last time together. We love to sing together, and we love this song. So the hippo song, stand up wherever you are, sing with us, and join in all the motions. Here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas, and the forest filled with trees. He raised the mountains up so high, and above it all, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had some fun. Made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. One more time with feeling. Here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. He raised the mountains up so high. And above it all, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had some fun. Made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hippopotamus.
Adventure Explorers for joining us again for our fifth week of Compassion Camp. It has been a wonderful time that we've been able to share with you. We've been so excited and loved getting to have this time with you to explore compassion and experience that in our lives and in the lives of others. As always, we're going to close out this very last Compassion Camp with our Adventure Explorers Pledge. So I invite you to raise your hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Rebecca, promise to promise to live as an adventurer. Live as an adventurer. Explore my faith and world. Explore my faith and world. And always remember. And always remember that God loves me and you. That God loves me and you. Oh, thank you so much, adventure explorers. We love you, and we'll see you later. Bye.